like today, uh, it was raining this morning. It's going to be a little slick out there. This mud gets pretty tacky. Uh, sometimes it gets stuck up in your Nerf bars and stuff. So just kind of ride the edges and see what we can do today. Ken Hill, did you get a photograph of all three? Okay, I'm a little rusty. You gotta yell at me. It's like year one, man. All right, so here's the thing. Obviously, this championship is gonna come down to Ironman in October, but I think this is the pivotal race right here. I'm predicting it now between Bryson Neal and Walker Fowler, whoever finishes in front, assuming first, wins the championship this year. I think that's how pivotal this race is. But I got my money on Hunter Hart. Something feels special about Hunter Hart these last three rounds. I think he's looking for redemption. So there you go. Stamp it. One, two, three. Bryson Neal, Walker Fowler, Hunter Hart. Those are your top three. Who gets first? Flip a coin. Coming into round 11 of uh, GNCC Racing. Uh, we're at the Burr Road GNCC here in Millfield, Ohio. Uh, Walker and me, we're after snowshoe and then after the last race, uh, bleeding a little bit of points. I've uh, had a DNF of snowshoes and last race didn't have a good one. I got third. 
He's, uh, he's reeled me in, only a two-point gap going into the day. I don't feel no pressure, you know, I'm just treating it like it's another day. I know that he's been down this road and been down these paths uh, many more times than me. I'm sitting here trying to accomplish and get my first championship, but uh, it's, it's real easy coming in here, having so many fans and friends and family from back home and around this area and being Wexer country. So uh, looking forward to going out and uh, having a strong showing and, and trying to put on for the home team and uh, get this win today. Yeah, today, today was the line in the sand. I, I couldn't give him three in a row. I was bleeding points. You know, um, I know it more than anyone, the, the points got that I had, and um, I just let it all go to waste. And uh, the last two races, they fought me. And uh, man, these last two weeks, I was quiet, and uh, I really worked my butt off. I knew that this is the line in the sand. I couldn't cut, let him come in here, beat me in my home track in front of my, my home family, my friends, my Wexicans. And um, that start today, Toby Reed, back Hidwell, man, we, we worked all summer getting it, trying to get this bike started, trying to get me better. Uh, we made such improvements, and I was kicking myself because I didn't, I wasn't able to show that Beckley. Was able to show today, my best start I've had all year. My goodness, I almost didn't know what to do because I was like, I, I'm, I haven't been here, <laughs> and I almost wasn't racing forward. So. Uh, I uh, got to shake them cobwebs next round if I get to get out front again like that. So uh, that was really great today. We got off the start. Shout out Toby Reed, Motor Experts, Pat Kidwell, BDO. Um, I, I'm just so pumped. The the, Mac, the CST tires, Elka shocks by Impact Solutions, EWT wheels, everything was clicking today. Uh, I know Walker uh, chiseled at points or the chiseled at the uh, gap on the last lap, but uh, I got to race this bike two more times, and I was just trying to get through it real smooth and uh, just get around real nice and easy, and uh, was able to bring this thing home. Bryson, uh, without a doubt, this round uh, with two left moving in, into uh, the last two rounds, this one very pivotal. How important was this race compared to all the others this year? Uh, today was do or die. Like I said, this is the line in the sand. I could not lose today. I couldn't give him three in a row. Uh, this is my hometown, and uh, this is... 
I did not want to lose here by all means, and I worked my tail off the last two weeks, and um, I'm just so happy that uh, everyone around me, my, my dad and uh, my Uncle Mike and Pat Kidwell and Toby Reed and, and uh, Justin Fallon, Chris Landers and the whole Magnum One team, I'm so happy that this summer we worked our butts off. We definitely improved the bike and made some good strides, and uh, we wasn't able to showcase it at Beckley, but we was uh, able to showcase it today, and the bike was kicking awesome, and uh, we're ready for the two more. Happen and you guys make some noise for your top three in the overall! <laughs> Here we go! Bang! Popping bottles on the GNCC podium. Get you some! Woo! Cheers! Walker! That sweet, sweet taste!